Hey guys, phone's coming out. It's, the Tuesday, it's Thursday afternoon, so I taped these sometime the night before. So it's Thursday afternoon, and the sun is just coming out. It looks still kind of cold out because it's windy, but um, the sun is a great thing because this morning when I woke up again and it was raining, right? One, do not forget about the parade Friday, which is today when you're watching this, hopefully, four o'clock. Um, I will have a sign. I have a blue mask. Depending on the weather, I don't know what jacket I'm wearing, so I can't tell you, but I will be there and I will try to email you tomorrow on um, what my sign says because I didn't make it yet. I have my paper. I just haven't made my sign yet, but I'm looking forward to see many of you. I hope you come around school there where we're going to have our, um, our parade tomorrow, 4 to 4.30, all right? Today I'm going to read you a book called Brune Hilda's Backwards Day. You're in Mrs. Bowles' class. I might have read this to you last year. Did you guys come up by my class? Kind of thinking you might have. Hmm. Never thought about it until right now, so you might have heard this book already. Brunhilde's Brun Brunhilde's Backwards Day. Brunhilde loved trouble. She loved making trouble. Brunhilde loved making trouble. Every morning when Brunhilde woke up, she got out of the wrong side of the bed. She put on her ugliest dress, ate spider mush for breakfast, and brushed her teeth with candy. Brunhilde admired herself in her magic mirror. You are stupendously hideous, she exclaimed. And much to her delight, a new wart appeared. Then she flew to town. She used her favorite spell to make plenty of trouble. She hopped three times on her left foot and chanted, Lumpy, grumpy, fly pie, stew, hocus, pocus, hippity, hoppity, spew, poof. She was happy with the results. Then, one night, the cat made plenty of trouble. <laughs> the next morning, when Brunhilde woke up, she found herself upside down in bed. She slid out of the right side of the bed and looked around. Her room seemed different. She went to put on her ugliest dress, but all she could find was a fluffy pink ball gown. What's she gonna look like in that? The spider mush was gone, so Brunhilde was forced to eat oatmeal. The candy was missing, so Brunhilde had to use toothpaste to brush her teeth. And when she gazed into her magic mirror, she was horrified. All of her warts had disappeared. This day was not going well. When she got to town, she saw a boy eating. Hee 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 hee, she cackled. She loved making ice cream fall onto the sidewalk. She hopped three times on her left foot and chanted, Lumpy, grumpy, fly pie stew, hocus pocus, hippity, happity, spew. I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder if that is going to fall to the ground, but it's backwards, D, so. <gasps> I cannot wait to show you this. Poof! She was not happy with the results, but getting a high five wasn't so bad. Brunhilde searched for another way to make trouble, and then she saw three girls riding their bikes. Kee hee hee, she cackled. She loved making children fall off their bikes. She hopped three times on her left foot and chanted, Lumpy, grumpy, fly pie stew, hocus pocus, hippity, hoppity, spoo. Okay, what do you think's gonna happen? Are they gonna fall off their bikes? The ice cream 
didn't fall to the ground, he happened to get more ice cream. So what do you think might happen? She was not happy with the results, but clapping and cheering was kind of fun. Oh, they started to fly on their bikes. Oh, I forgot to say poof, poof. Things were really not going well for Brunhilde, but then she saw a playground full of children. Hee hee hee, she cackled. Making the playground disappear would certainly cause all the children to cry. Brunhilde hopped on her, hopped three times on her left foot, but then she stopped. Everything was going backwards today, so this time she would say the spell backwards. Brunhilde hopped three times on her right foot and chanted, happy, sappy, fluffy pup cheese, silly, frilly, skippity, hoppity, sneeze. What's going to happen? Is the playground going to disappear? Is the playground going to get bigger? Poof. I got disappeared. And look at how do you think Broomhilde is feeling about it? She's like, yeah, I'm back. Broomhilde was satisfied. She started to fly home and then she stopped. Hmm. She remembered the high five. She remembered the clapping and cheering. So instead of flying home, she hopped three times on her left foot and chanted, Lumpy, grumpy, fly pie, stew, hippity, ew, hocus, pocus, hippity, hoppity, spoo. What is she thinking? What's Brunhilde thinking? What's going to happen? Poof! And she was happy with the results. Look at that playground. Wouldn't that be awesome to have that one? That night, Brunhilde and the cat stirred up plenty of fun. The next morning, things were back to normal. But instead of getting out of the wrong side of the bed, Brunhilde got out of the right side of the bed. And although things were different from that day on... Dun, dun, dun. Some things would never change. She didn't like the puffy dress. Brunhilde's backwards day. Like I said, I might, I can't remember all my years mess up, but I know I read this to Mrs. Bull's classes, class one year. I don't know if it was last year or the year before. All right, so we will talk to you guys later. Hope to see you at the parade.